Audio testing, one, two, seven. Audio testing appears to be correct. Uh, VLC video source appears to be correct. Get rid of stupid overlay. I don't know how to do that. Now, there we go. Okay, let's quickly check to see what's going on here. All right, hello, and thank you for joining the stream. Um, yesterday, there's nobody here, um, but I'll talk anyway. Yesterday, uh, we were looking at trying to do interpolations for uh, planet declinations and right ascensions. Basically, they're so complicated that they don't really follow a simple formula, uh, but we wanted to see if we could kind of sort of um, kind of sort of get them into a, a, a shorter a formula that could be computed and get very close to the real results. Um, so we were using Maxima to do that, but as Maxima admits itself, um, it doesn't handle lisps well. It does have an efficient way of handling arrays, but unfortunately arrays are very hard to use as we discovered yesterday. Um, so the question is what, what should we do about that? I had a really clever joke planned out here with pirates and stuff, but it just doesn't seem to, it just doesn't seem like it's the time to do it. So we're just going to go straight to saying R, the R programming language, which is actually designed for all of this, um, this stuff here, um, the statistics and analysis and all this good stuff. Um, now there is someone who said that when you learn a language, you should learn the language completely and thoroughly and whatever, and then start programming in it, uh, which is bullshit, of course. Um, so I'm going to basically just try to solve. Not the planetary problem, but I'm going to try to do COVID stuff in R just because it is uh, data that I already know kind of what the results should look like. And I've done it in, in Maxima and it's a smaller data set. So um, it should be easier to, uh, to handle and to find error messages. So the first thing you do when using R is you give up all hope. No, I think I have R installed. Rlang, is it just R? Yeah, it is just R. Okay, and I do have a... Um, that's not what I asked. Do I have an R subdirectory? And again, this is the... Um, I'm using subdirectories for both languages and projects, so it's very, very confusing. And I do not. So... Make directory... Um, not going to be very exciting about this. Now, bizarrely, I've written some R code only because my Rosetta program um, creates code in various languages, including R. Um, so if we're to run bclang convert, absolutely nothing will happen. No, actually, this, this might actually do something. Uh, yeah, there it is. Um, it will write functions in R, but I mean, they're just insanely complicated as you can see and there's even a little test case there this is basically trying to convert Mathematica into R which is just hideous uh, it works but it's hideous and so you can even do an R on this and you'll get expectations versus what no mama does that mean to do this Yeah. Okay, there it is. Values we got, values we expect, they are the same. Of course, we have no idea what this is all about, but but it does, it is, so I have written a little bit of R code, just sort of a, um, um, I wonder if I have a playground.r. Okay, there we go. This has obviously been a, been a while. So what the hell is this? It runs an R script. Is that R? Or is that something totally different that just happens? To, I hope it is R. Front end for scripting with our hello, 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 Benny Drake, the Drake fanboy. So you actually literally came to the channel just to say be right back. I can dig it. It's a little bit weird, but I can dig it. Hey there, how's it going? Good to see you. Good to see anyone. Today's topic is the language called R. R, 
And every time I say it, I want to do that fake pirate accent. Pirates didn't really talk like that. Some actor made it up. Um, so and it appears I already have actually done some work with R, surprisingly. Um, um, so I'm, I'm kind of surprised. I didn't know I'd done this. This must be a really, really old freaking file. Yeah, 2014. So it's been like about five and a half years since I messed with this. R, that's it, the R programming language. Uh, well, I have already built a program according to this. Unfortunately, it appears that it's going to depend on um, upon uh, a file that doesn't exist. Uh, yeah, I am trying to, I, yeah, I'm trying to code. I'm trying to write some code in R. I'm going to learn it as I code. Um, and I'm going to try to do COVID stuff with it and later planet uh, right ascension and declination stuff with it. Um, so I'm really excited that I found this code that I wrote five and a half years ago that I do not actually understand. I mean, that, that is the key here, is that I have no idea what the fuck this is. But I don't think it'll run because it doesn't have the temp file that it needs, unless I somehow put the temp file in here, which is very unlikely. Yeah. Um... Well, this is what I've been doing lately. I've been I streamed I think for like four and a half hours a couple of days ago. Uh, aside from that, I'm basically trying to avoid getting COVID, or if I get it, you know, somehow be able to give it to other people, um, and basically uh, living my fairly pointless and dull life. Um, not great. What have you been doing? Maybe maybe that's a better question. What the hell have you been doing? Um, so this probably won't work, but let me go ahead and do it just because I want to. Yeah. Um, bummer, dude. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this into R just because it's bad programming. Pra oh, phew. okay. Git has a move command, but not a... Um, and I don't want to move it. I actually do want to have two copies of it. Uh, how long it take you to make a program? Well, at the moment, I don't know, because I've never programmed in R before, except apparently I did. Um, so I don't really fully understand that. Um, so I'm guessing... Um, this is kind of freaking amazing. I need, to, I, I need to find out what the temp map... I could probably recreate it as something. Um, nope, I don't make 3D models. I don't even make 2D models. I don't even make 1D models. I was trying to make a 0D model. Uh, no. Um, this is, I usually do this, lots of different things on stream. Uh, I've done Maxima, I've done uh, Mathematica, which is Wolfram language. Um, there's a whole bunch of streams on YouTube that are listed in the panel, but I really don't recommend you look at them because the one thing my streams have in common is that they all suck. Um, and right now what I'm trying to do is uh, create a, um, an ecliptical map that I can overlay planets on uh, because someone asked me uh, about it, and I think the person who asked me about it has forgotten about it, um, and uh, really d wants to use Python to do it. So, really, two good reasons not to do it. So I, I have to do it now. It's like it's like I'm guaranteed. Okay, I'm pretty sure this can really be anything. Um, Um, so I'm just going to create like a really silly file here and put it into temp. Obviously, it's not going to do anything very exciting. Um, oh, that, that, it's a different error. Um, oh, coincidence, so there's a guy named Ecliptical, apparently, and I'm making a map that is b about the ecliptic, which would make it an ecliptical map. Woo, we're somehow spookily connected, Benny Drake the fa fanboy. It is. Um, so do you suspect this ecliptical boy of having, um, of being, um, Okay, 
know what? I'm actually going to start from scratch because I get the feeling somehow this is actually not the looking at code that's that old that I didn't. I never do any good coding. So looking at my bad code from five and a half. I know. I know. I know what you meant. Yeah, I know. You were just in a random chat. Has nothing to do with me. And suddenly the same word came up twice. Coincidence or Joe incidents? It's bin our script here. I think it, user local bin will work too, though, and that might be more generic. User local bin. User, okay, yeah. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to try to load the um, first thing I'm going to do actually, just because I'm a freaking paranoid, is I'm going to go ahead and update my COVID data. Um, and that'll take just a few seconds on the other machine where you can't see it because I'm weird. Um, and this will just take a few seconds. All right. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, you know, you have to kind of trust. That's the problem about running code on your machine is that you either need to put it in a sandbox. Um, or you need to trust the coder. That is one reason I think JavaScript has become popular. Um, it's safer than running code on your own machine directly. It, it is sort of a sandbox. It's not a great sandbox, which is why we need Rust, uh, but it's a better sandbox than just running raw anyone's code on your machine. So, um, Okay, so the first thing we want to do is... Um, oh, I'm going to be evil here is to look at how I did it in Maxima and copy. Because the one thing you can do is copying between machines. That is the greatest thing you can do in the world. Um, okay. Oh, and I think maybe we'll even go as far as looking at the playground code, because I think that knows how to read a C CSV. But let's go ahead and get in here. Um, so deaths, nope, not here. Deaths goes to I am I am awesome. I'm reading with read CSV and the file we want. The nice thing is you don't have to open the file and then do something with it. Um is this file. Um Okay. I think it's this file. Okay. So that is, okay, it is Pomodoro time, but it's the first one, so I'm going to skip it. After this, I will go and Pomodoro myself, whatever that means. Okay. Um, all right, so now let's see what happens if we do our script. We, we, we need to kind of set up our environment here a little bit. Brilliant. Now, what I'd really like to do is run the script and then sort of remain inside of R. Um, so the script will sort of set me up for an interactive session. Um, let's see, for you script, blah, 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 blah. verbose, default, save, no environment, don't, okay. Um, wait. Um, okay, that might not be the way to do it then. Let's see, our script, let's go ahead and go over here. Our script, do not stop after loading. There might not be a way of doing this. Uh, no. Okay, all good packages. Oh my god. Okay. As I said, I'm going to ignore Nightbot for right now. Maybe do this a little bit so I can see if somebody says something. Um, so that might not be the way to do it. So maybe we want it, what we want is just man R. Um, so does this new... Okay. I get the feeling there is a way to do this. Basically, we want to load in a file, and then um, 
and then continue with with the um, um can I hack I mean I assume you mean crack but probably I haven't done it in a while I'm not sure I want to do it again and it's not something I want to be putting on stream so so if you were asking um oh no an init file would be a nice way to do this uh, no read line Okay, take input from file. Okay, so r minus f bc covid dot r. Does this do the magic? Actually, it should probably no longer have the word r script on top of it now. Uh, but the big problem is I want to keep r running. Interactive. That is exactly what I want. Okay. Hey, what the fuck? You're not supposed to do that. Okay. So we're going to look for our interactive session uh, after after loading file file. Ooh, let's say just file. Um, uh, let's see. Not helpful. Um. Okay, so what I'm trying to say is load a file and then continue with, um, okay, now I'm unhappy. Uh, input file of our expressions, args, help version verbose, default pack save, do not save, don't wire, no site file, no init file, restore vanilla, yeah. happy. I wonder if I can do this. I mean, this would be really clever. COVID.R and then the standard input. No, I cannot do that. Okay. So R will definitely run it in a command line. We're good there. Uh, R, if you give it a file... Okay. The curve has gone down, actually. Um, we're going to look at it in just a minute, but yeah, we, we're, we've, we've stabled it. We, we, we're very stable at this point. We're losing very few people. Um, the curve has flattened, pretty much. Okay. So if I do this... We're going we're gonna to get there. We're going to get there. I guess we could even do this. Um, but I think this will just... Yeah, this won't actually keep going after that. Eh, it may or may not. I'm not, I'm not really think this is... I don't think the COVID-19 is that virulent. I'm not sure the quarantine is helping at all. Um or curfew, or social distancing, or mask wearing. I don't oppose social distancing. Six feet apart, people should probably be staying six feet apart anyway. Masks, it's up to you. And if you want to wear one, I think, is my opinion. And I'm definitely opposed to quarantine or curfews. So that's my position. Um, and, I mean, they can always just... Okay, let's see. So we want this... This is good, but then we don't want it to stop. What does this do? Nope, that doesn't do it either. 
I do this. So the weird thing is if I put interactive over here, it's interactive, but it doesn't read in the file. <laughs> well, if you know, uh, oh, hi, Natalie. Um, you had the same color as Benny, so I was confused there for a second. Uh, Natalie, um, we don't have to talk about this right now, but did you read the, the message I sent you in Discord? Okay, so we're trying to figure out a way to run R. Um, trying to figure out a way to run R so that it'll read a script and then it will bring us back to an R prompt. Um, I guess I'm going to do something that I probably shouldn't do, which is a tutorial. Um, quick R. This is this is good. Um, God damn it. Um, entering commands, the work... Oh, there's a user interface? No, there isn't. Okay. Entering commands... Da, 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 da. Okay, so they're using an R console. Okay. Bye, Natalie. Yep. Bye, Natalie. Okay. Uh, the workspace graphic user interface is so RStudio. Not really sure I like that, though. I don't necessarily like graphic interfaces. Um, so this is not going to answer the question that I want. I, I, I get the feeling this is this is going to tell me. I wonder if I have R Studio. Now I have R Script. I could probably get R Studio, but that is not how I prefer to work. I'm a command line guy, man. So the let's also figure out how to do um, comments in R uh, because we are going to in our language. All right. Um, oh. That is just sucky that it doesn't have, but we won't really. The hell was that? Wow. Okay. Um, I w this is important. I do want to keep this in in play. Um, let's see. Feel that I'm so close. Uh, R options in file. Okay, maybe R CMD is what I need. R that sounds like Run DMC with, but backwards. Oh, that is not what that does. Okay. So, hmm. thinking, just in case anyone's wondering, I haven't gone, I mean, I have gone silent, but not for any bad reason. Mm-hmm. This is going to work, even if it kills me, because R will do what I want. Actually, just need this. Oh, can I do this? That was really strange. 
We've already tried this and it doesn't work. I mean, it does, but it doesn't actually load anything. Um, all right. Briefly, I'm going to do this. Just, um, just to make sure I'm actually doing the. Oh, your mama. Okay. Um, well, that worked. So, do I need a semi? I probably do need a semicolon here. Now, there might be a command called interactive or something, so that whenever we read this, it automatically goes interactive. Also, I need to stop. This is kind of getting kind of annoying. Okay, so that does not define deaths because... This, yeah, this this does what I kind of does what I want, but okay. And then this, which is doing it the other way, doesn't work either. Okay, if anyone in the audience, if there is anyone in the audience and you have uh, some some suggestions, let me know what they are. Okay, uh, let me see if there's an R command called interactive. I mean, it would be silly to use here because we're already R interactive. Oh, is it? I am using a dark theme here, but um, I'm pretty much blind, actually. So, um, you know, I hadn't thought about that. That might be, not be a bad idea. Let me put it on my to think about list. Because um, it might actually be better for me. Well, Windows 7 is... I'm using Linux, the only true operating system in the world. Uh, okay, R command, go interactive. Okay, now this might be... Yeah, there we go. How do we basically say drop into inner... S okay. Um... <laughs> Let's see what this is. Okay. Oh. Um. Yeah, that's not really what I want to do, though. But I mean, it, it would be a solution. Motherfucker. Yeah, quite a few programs and games are un incompatible with it. Um, but it's a real computer, and everything... Windows really isn't a real computer, in my opinion. Mac OS X kind of, uh, kind of is in between the two. Um, so anyway, that's my opinion, obviously. It's very controversial. Okay. But now... Okay, so let's try couple of things here. Let's do this. And I don't think we can do both of those. Uh, called from top level. Browse one. So it, it just ignores it, basically. Um... Yeah. Well, because, um... Windows is really sort of a glorified word processor, web browser, email reader. It does a lot of the things that computers do, but it's not really a computer because it's not about command line. It's not about programming. Um, it's for it's an application runner. It's like there's a computer at the heart of the, your machine, but Windows is very limiting. It doesn't really want you to automate tasks, which is what computers are for. So any value that you get from it. And I might even get a Windows system, and I might even um, create a vin Windows VM inside of Linux, and I, I've done that before. Um, or get a remote a Windows system and, uh, and, and you know, use that. Um, or even get a Windows machine, I mean, you know, and, and hook it up. Um, but, the, um, but my point is, when you're doing, like, actual computer stuff, when you're programming, um, when I'm programming at least, I have had Windows before. I've had, um, I've had, I've had, I've had MS DOS, and then Windows 3.1, Windows 3.1 for work groups, 
Windows 95, um, Windows 2000, Windows NT, and that's when I, I think I gave up on, I, I probably had another, win I probably had Windows, I mean, I had to use, you know, I had to help people with Windows anyway, but yeah. Um, so, so yeah, I, ha I have used Windows before many times, um, and I've never liked it. I've heard Windows Vista is like the worst of them, though, isn't it? Uh, I thought Vista was both... Oh, okay, I was going to say, Windows Vista is probably like the anti-Windows, uh, the worst version. Of, I mean, Windows 95 was pretty bad, too. Um, and Windows 3.1 was terrible. Windows 3.1 was arguably just a graphical interface over DOS. Um, but anyway, so in my opinion, Windows sucks. If you want to try to convince me otherwise, we could certainly have that discussion here, but it's probably going to be very unproductive. If you can help me figure out a way to load R and make it interactive in the middle, um, that would be, like, really helpful. So, now the thing is, the R script shouldn't be doing anything, because it actually should be ignoring that. Yeah. Um, I'm sure it can. I mean, it's not 100% secure. Uh, people normally don't write viruses for Linux partly because it is not a very popular operating system and there's no point in doing that. Also, I, I would argue Linux users tend to be more savvy. Uh, I would say most viruses, uh, computer viruses, not, not COVID-19, are spread by people who don't really understand, who basically users who shouldn't really be on the internet because they don't understand the difference between an executable and a non-executable. They get something in their email they run it. I mean, Windows is doing a better job of letting them know now, uh, and they don't really understand the difference between like a data file and an executable. Um, so, so that uh, and you know, Windows didn't help. Screensaver files were executables for a while. I think they still are actually um, SCR files. So, so that's that's. I would say it's more partly because it, I, I'll admit because it has very low um, usage. You, there's no point in writing a virus for it. But also, I think because uh, a Linux vir virus, which I think has been done, would have to be much more fancy because the users, who, people who use Linux aren't going to be stupid enough to open, uh, they know the difference, they know how to open attachments properly, and they understand the difference between an executable and a data file. That's the end of my rant there. But if you have other questions that'll make me rant, please go right ahead. So this didn't do it, this didn't do it. Let's see. <laughs> I want to avoid. Oh, and somebody actually had to. Uh, okay, it is Pomodoro time. I do want to take it this time. I'll be back in two minutes and two seconds.
And we are almost back, and we have a troll, or actually a spam bot. Okay, and we're back, and let me go ahead and ban this guy, although I'm sure that he's already... Uh, um, um, okay, so off he goes. We will block him. And, okay. Yep. And a really bad one, because he apparently comes in um, to, to chats, to, uh, to uh, channels that have, like, virtually no viewers. You're not going to get very far like that. Oh, I guess maybe that does make sense now, because he would be addressing people like me who have very few followers or viewers and would like to add more, but I that don't want bad followers, um, so to speak. Okay, so we could do a source here. That might be the simplest way to do this. So, I mean, if, you know, I, I don't know, maybe it even works, but I don't want that quality of followers. I want people who are so, no offense, Benny, who are so freaking bored that this stuff interests them. Your life has to be this empty. So let me try something. R source. Oh, cool. It even gives me a little bit of a completion. Okay, and that's... Okay, so that, that I shouldn't have done. Um, turn off browser here. And I think there's even a quicker way of doing this. Um, so let me just do the source again. Oh, come on, no history? God damn it. We are going to get this going correctly. Awesome. Um, okay. Interesting. Um, and I'm pretty sure this first column isn't even in the data. It's just, um, it's just them adding an index to it. Okay, so now can we do this a little bit better? Can we do R minus expression source, oops, source. Okay, that worked didn't. It, it exited. Okay, no. I think the problem with interactive is it stops there and no other... Yeah. Okay. Let me try, let me see if there is, at some point I'm going to give up and just basically allow one, you know, one up return, which is all I really need. Um, mm, um, this didn't really answer the question. Um, Let's take a look here. Um, but that takes too long. I mean, that's kind of stupid, but... Um, okay. Yep, I'm going to search a little bit harder because this is so incredibly pointless. Um... Okay, fuck it. So here's what we're going to do. Uh, is there a way to... C okay, I obviously my readers can read this. I'm, I'm confused as to what you're asking. Um, if you're writing a web page 
uh, you probably have administrative access to wherever you're hosting the web page. Um, if you're running a Google Hangouts, I think you have admin access at, because you're the person who started the Google Hangouts to modify a link. Okay, so if I'm understanding correctly, you've written a web page um, and you want to change a link on the web page? I'm confused. True, 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 true. Um, I'm not sure what you're asking exactly. If you've written a web page or if you're using WordPress or whatever, obviously you can go in and edit your web pages. But I get the feeling that's not what you're asking. And if you're asking something that is a little bit, um, a little bit dark side-ish, what do you mean by gain admin? I don't understand what that that means in this context. But let me ask you. Let me, yeah. If it's dark side-ish, don't bother. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do that on stream. I'm probably not gonna do it off stream either, uh, because there's just a lot of people out there. You know, computer security is important. It's a good field to study. It's not a field that I'm studying. Yeah, they all say that. Um, and if I remember the way that I met you, um, I get. I think the way I met you was actually a little bit dark as well. So again, I'm not going to be doing that on stream or even really off stream. Um, it is an important field. You know, people do need to study it. Um, I am basically not going to not going to be doing that. Though I'm not. Uh, somebody else was asking me about that keyboard that when you plug it in, it autom automatically starts typing stuff because it's. It's a keyboard, but it's not a keyboard. Uh, very sneaky way of doing that. Um, I think at this point in my life, if I were younger, maybe, um, at this point in my life, I don't want to be. Um, I don't want to be doing that. I mean, there's you know, there's other ways you can hack into a network. I mean, if you have physical access for even a few seconds to a building, inside you know, inside where the, the you know where they have ports. You could put in a port that no one would notice, get get data from it, but um, <coughs> well, this is actually an open question here. Uh, if you access a website that has a username and password, uh, there's a very broad law that says you cannot that it's illegal to tamper with stuff. Uh, so if it's not if it doesn't have a username and web uh, password, you might get away with it. Uh, but there's a very broad law that says it's illegal. Whether or not you get caught, what's going to actually happen to you? You know, that's, that I don't know. Um, but it's clearly not the kind of thing I want to tell people how to do. Maybe I'll get more dark in later streams. Um, you know, maybe I'll get COVID and before I die, I'll try to help people screw the world over as much as possible. Uh, maybe I already have COVID. <coughs> but I don't think so. Um, but for right now, I'm kind of focused on R. But if you have other questions... I can have COVID. It's asymptomatic. So the way I'm going to run this, and it's not going to be a, a hash bang. Um, and I think that's all I need. And then I have to do this one line. So let's do this now. Oh, and then I have to do this. But now I think once I've done this, um, yeah, now I only have to do one up arrow in return. Still not great, um, but better than what we had before. Okay, so now we have the COVID data read in. Um, so that's reading the column one that's reading column two um so i guess now we want to create some sort of structure here in um in in uh, in r so wow um so let's try to create okay let's see what we did here uh yeah we want to create a uh a, an associative array where we uh the deaths of country name Equal a list of deaths by day. Some, something, something of that order. I mean, there might be a better uh, R-ish way of doing it. I'm going to put a little bit of a, a three dots here, just so if you say something, I will be able to see it again. Because there's a lot of 
I, I, there, I need a break line from there. Okay. Um, so let's see. I mean, I can actually split Emacs into more than two windows. Uh, this is getting really, really ugly. Uh, once again, I get the feeling we're kind of... Uh, kind of moving in the wrong direction there. I know crazy isn't the same as dark, but but again, um, maybe, maybe let's not go that direction with it. Okay. Um, so the one I want is playground.r. Okay. Uh, interesting. Um, so I don't think I have headers on this sucker though. Um, maybe I do actually. Hang on. So deaths, and then dollar sign. Oh yeah, nice. This will be the list of dates. That's cool. Um, uh, is it date or dates? It's got to be date. Yeah, dollar sign date. Okay, so that's list of dates. Um, interesting. Oh wow. So this isn't quite as sophisticated because it's not the worldwide data, uh, but you know I could set one. So this would be basically setting two columns. Um, and then NLS, I'm pretty sure, is non, is, it should be linear fit, not non-linear fit. But anyway. Uh, plot residuals, this is good shit here. But we want to go one level deeper and create a hash. And I think this time we're going to do it just like this. Okay, so death date, um, list of dates. So this is, this is good shit. Um... Associative array in R. List, not a map dictionary. Okay. Um, let's see what this is. Hash function keys. Oh my god. Um, what the fuck? So this is just as bad as Maxima. Keys are accessed in a linear search method. Uh, that is not cool at all. Um, let's get to the original source here. Which is, doesn't exist. Okay. Let's do our tutorial and we'll look at data structures. Because um, I'm having trouble believing that they don't have, um, here we go, that they don't have a uh, associative array data structure. basic data types, which we, we'll start with that. <coughs> now I'm coughing because I'm worried. Um, okay, so this is basically, this is not bad stuff. Um, uh, let's see. Okay, wait, what? Um, okay, that sort of makes sense. Once you uh, assign a type, um, it stays there even if you change the value in the type. Um, okay, skimming, this is not exactly what I need for right now. Complex numbers, always a good thing to have. Uh, do they have the quaternions, though? Actually, I don't care. Right now, I don't care. Um, okay, the, the logical, okay, good stuff. Character class, which is, um, um,
Oh, okay, okay. So this takes the uh, the thing what you put in here. So I'm guessing that um, if I do something like this is going to be nine. Yeah, because it do it takes whatever's in here, evaluates it, then converts it to character. So that's good shit. Sprint death, that's nice. Substring, all stuff I would expect. Vectors. Uh, vector. I would call it a list, but a vector is a vector. Um, length, combining vectors, vector arithmetic, s whoever wrote this doesn't speak English natively or is British, which means they don't speak English natively either. Um, okay. Uh, we multiply by five. Okay, this is pretty standard shit. Vector index. Okay, so if we have a vector, and apparently the the, the letter C has some special meaning here. So, um, so if I do C, it becomes an array magically. Okay, and that I probably could have assigned it to something. Okay, so is C? Let let me see if the words the letter C has this. Um, I want to see if I want to see if C. Uh, oh. That. Ah, but that's not the same thing. Um. Call the member. Okay, so this. Okay, this is going to be a really hard question to ask. What is the C function in... Oh, okay. Apparently someone has asked this. Returns a vector. Okay, so this is... Um, wait. Okay, now I'm confused. What's the difference between this and equal? Okay, so another question to ask. Our difference between equal and... Yeah, this is going to go well. Okay, Pomodoro time, I, I am going to take it. I'll be back in two minutes and two seconds. And we are almost back. And we're still almost back because I want to check my email real quick. Uh, and it's more, it's not very exciting. Okay. I'm not going to be doing crazy insane stuff on, uh, on stream and probably not for the rest of my life. I just don't 
I see I'm not in the part of my life where I want... I realize you're probably not here. Um, but probably not for the rest of my life. I don't see that happening. All right, so let's take a look at what the difference is between these two assignment operators. Um, okay. Um... Oh, wait. Okay, so what, nearly as I can tell, um, the difference is subtle. And also, I probably shouldn't have hit, I probably should have opened that in a new window. Okay, let's, this is sort of like equal and set equal. Um, mm, well, that's not really exciting, though. Um, oh, so whatever the hell this is, it's really, really complicated. Um, I don't know if you're back or not. Okay, so th this is, we'll go back to, to learning about R. Okay, so C is just the vector creator. There's not a huge difference between equal and the, uh, the APL operator. And we've looked at this already. Vector indexes, so they're like arrays. Uh, matrices, I assume, are like, okay. Um, okay, okay. So if we have A, which we do, I can return, I can't do this, right, but I can do this, which should return just the two and fifth position, which I did, very good. I wonder if I can do this, no, can I do this? Do I, I'm trying to create an automatic range, but, um, so A2 is A2, A2 comma five doesn't work because that would be a two dimensional array as opposed to a give me the second and fifth elements, so I'm I'm, I'm good with that. Um, oh, and you could get the same index more than once. Out of order, that's not surprising. Ah, oh, there it is. Um, two through five. So I wonder if that just works on the command line too. That was a terrible example. Hey, so the colon operator gives us implicit ranging. Okay, logical vector index. Um, oh, wow. So you apply this, and wherever it's true, you get BBDD. Um, okay. Name, this might be where we're looking for good stuff. We can assign names to vector members. Um, so this is, we're now getting close to associative uh, arrays. So you can see very soon. Okay. I'm not quite following this. Because it looks like this should be the other way around. Names of Mary and Sue are first and last. Hmm. I'm kind of wondering if this is the same as the dollar sign stuff that we're doing. Um, so his name's a built-in? Oh, okay, okay, okay. 
So names is not just an arbitrary function. It is a um, uh, names is a generic accessor function. Um, okay, 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 okay. So this is not this is basically setting keys on the variable. Um, okay. Okay. Names of so I'm guessing after we made deaths will have names on it. Um, because I had three, I had multiple columns. Yeah. Um. Okay. So, and each column is a, so we're actually really close to what we need. Um, and then let's see. This is just going to give us the fourth, yeah, that's fine. Uh, <laughs> so when we read the CSV file, it had a header line, and it was just basically got that right away. So I should now be able to say deaths of date. And I can. Um, and I should even be able to say a equal date, and then deaths of, because this is how I'm going to be generalizing it. Okay. In fact, we might have enough information now to create the new array. Um, okay. So foo is an undefined. Can I do this? Yeah. So I can't quite do that. Um. Can I do this? Wow, that was a weird typo. Um, unexpected. Okay, so wait, how do we do names of something? Oh, wait. Isn't that the same freaking thing? Nope, we're done. That, that's all we had. Oh, I know it's wrong. I have a bad... Okay, so let me see if we can do it the correct way back here. No, apparently you cannot set names to be an array. You can do this, though. Oh. So if I set foo to be the empty array... Then I can do this. Wait. That's not what I meant to do. Um, can I do unset foo? Clear foo? Fuck foo over? Okay. Um... So I'm not getting this and I think I do want to get this. Okay, so let's do this. I wonder if we uh, need the... Oh, we don't need the uh, C line. Okay. Uh, so this is V1. Oh. Okay, so I think... The only time this comes in useful, well, it comes in useful, is if you want to set, um, um, this is going to be an array, actually. What's a good second name for David? You know what, I'm actually going to change this just because I really like Peter David. Uh, he's an author. So what this should do... is not that. Damn it! So I think I'm getting C to be combinative. So what's V of 1? Okay. So can I do this? V of 1 equals Mary... Oh, I need an array. And I get the feeling this is going to not like this. Yep, it's going to have to be like this.
Okay, but that's only because I have I have um, clear V. Let's just restart. Oh fuck! It kept the value of V. Right. Um, clear a variable. Yeah, that that might be something to really um, RM might be the way to do this. So let's go ahead and remove V. Good. That's what I wanted. So now can I do this? Apparently not. So can I set V equal? I can set V equal to this. That would just make a two element array. Uh, but what I want... Okay. I guess names of V just basically gives you an alias for the columns. So that's what we're going to go with. So when you say names of V, it's... Um, it's just basically an alias, so when you say, okay, okay, I get this now. Um, so when we do this, all we've actually done now is say instead of V of 1, we can say V of first. So that's, th we've just basically assigned, um, we've assigned aliases to the numbers of the array. I can dig with that, I can dig that, deal with that, do that, whatever. Um, okay, good stuff, matrix, okay, oh cool, you can actually have it split the, the elements across multiple rows. Okay. Okay, I don't even think I need to construct a matrix here, but... Um... Okay, mm -hmm. this is basic matrix stuff. But now, I think I might have enough information at this point to actually do a little bit of what I was trying to do. Um... And one problem here might be that I actually... No, I did use this. Um, okay, so what we were trying to say is deaths of... We might need another... Um, we might need another variable here, because we, we don't want to override the variable we already have. But I think this should be the same thing as the previous one. And actually... This, because it happens to be the first column, is the same thing. This is just basically three ways of accessing the same, the same thing. Okay. Alrighty. Okay, so what we're trying to do now... Um... We basically are trying to say... And we're going to use something other than deaths. Um, okay. So we want here... We'll call this variable T1956, because it's that time in UTC. So what we kind of want here is T1956 equals the, the uh, deaths of deaths, but only for a given country. Um, this actually might be a matrix. Uh, let's see. We have a list of countries already. Uh, 
let's see. We might change the name of 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 of, uh, of the variable deaths. Um, so we got this, we got this, now what we want here is, um, okay, T1956 equals, so what we want here is a, is a, um, Okay, okay, what we want here is going to actually be a hideously looking nasty uh, matrix where each column represents a country, but we can alias the, the column number with the name of the country. Um, that's going to be pretty ugly. But, so here, <laughs> I am so awesome. So we should actually be able to... Um, that's weird. Uh, oh, it's giving us two two per line. So so we should actually be able to uh, um, unduplicate this. So we just have a list of the countries, um, and then basically, I guess loop through this data and get what we need, and then assign to each country. But I don't I don't know. That's not necessarily. Seems like there's a better way of doing that, and I could be wrong. Okay. I think Benny has left us. But if he's not, hey. All right, so now a list, which is different from a, um, okay, so it's, it's, ba what? Okay, list slicing, um, named list members, okay, this is getting, so this is getting very, very close to, um, to what we need here. We want to say country equals the its list of uh, its list of uh, deaths. Uh, other country equals this. So um, um, I don't see how this is different from using the names, but okay. Um, um, Pomodoro time, back in two and two. And we are almost back. Okay. So I think this is what we've kind of been doing. Hmm. Okay. Um, see, the weird thing is that we maybe already have a data frame. Hmm. 
Okay. So I'm trying to figure out what we're doing here. Um, maybe we can just cut and paste this code. Well, we can't because it has those little ticky marks in front of it, but we can get close. Um, and then so we have three wonderful vectors here. Ah, ah, ah. The count. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. Um, so you're basically giving columns. So this is actually what we have already in our in our deaths. It, it is in fact uh, a data frame of sorts. In fact, I think it is literally a data frame. Um, yeah, it literally is a data frame. Date, country, blah blah blah. Um, so, okay, um, so this will let us it get anything in the, which is not interesting, but we could also do it with, um, oh, that is nice, except for the fact that we want to flip country and date, but that might be doable. So if we said, um, let's see, deaths, um, the row in the, so the first, um, wait, 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 wait. So the columns get their names from, hang on. The columns get their names from uh, the... Okay, so here we just have... Um, okay. Mm Something funky is going on here. Um, oh, there's a built-in one called empty cars. Okay. So you have a row, you have da 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 da. Um, so how are you getting the rows to have names? Um, can we... I'm not seeing how that is done here. But anyway, let's continue briefly. Um... Ooh, shiny. I want to know how you created that, actually. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Hmm. That doesn't help. Okay. Data frame column vector. That I'm understanding. Yep. Yep. Good. Data frame column slice. Built in data. S okay. Okay, so this will give you the, um, the sort of indexing field plus a given column or multiple columns. But the question is, oh, here we go, row slice. Um, okay, so this is where we get, uh, we're accessing it by, but we cannot do this. Uh, because apparently the, 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 the row names, the rows have not been named. Um, Now the question is, can we do this? And I might have done the syntax wrong. Yep, I meant to do... Interesting. Hmm. 
Nope, that still names the columns. I've changed the names of the columns, which was spiffy, but does not name the rows. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So I think we need a little bit more here. Okay, so we'll go to Mr. Data Mentor. Uh, in special case, which has components of equal length. Yada, yada, yada. Um, so here they are just using the um, names, uh, n row. Okay. Um. Okay. Um. Okay. Um. So if we, if this is correct, this should have. Nope. Uh, let's see. So if I should be able to do. Let's make sure X isn't defined. Um, I should now be able to name my rows. They're very dull rows, but uh, um, row. Two equals, I guess we'll say four, five, six, and because we always need three rows, we'll say row three equals seven, eight, nine. Ooh. No. That still names the columns. Hmm. Type. Fa I don't know what the hell factor is. Um, okay. Okay, which apparently is built in, but don't know how, how the hell they got it. Okay, but here that's interesting is we don't have a row names again. Um, Gotta modify this is what I'm looking for though, adding components, uh deleting components. Uh okay. Um R data frame name rows. There we go. Um Okay, so let's take a look at the row names for trees, which I like better than cars. Okay, so here we have, we're basically saying that the row names um, are basically just the numbers. So I'm guessing what we can do here... I'm surprised that I know three uh, trees. Yeah. Unfortunately, we won't have to go like Basically, um, I get the feeling this isn't going to work, but let's see if it does. Yeah. Sorry, I meant 5 colon 31, but. Mm, one, oh, 4 and 31. That worked? I w I'm going to write that down. That is surprising. So you can apparently, you know, name just the first three of them, and then after that, just bugger off and let them be numbers. Okay. So now trees looks like, hey! So the row names you can give as a, um, let's be really confusing now. I would like the first 10 row names to be named from 10 to 20, uh, then from 10 to 20 again, then from 5 to 15, and the last one is named 3. Uh, hang on. 
So this is 10 to 20 is 11, 22, 33, and I need to make this one that. Oh, you, so they do have to be unique. So that, that's kind of good, actually. Let's see, let's see you handle this. Okay. Uh, this is 11. This is... Oh, boop, 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 boop. There we go. Wow. So I've really fucked up the tree's data set. But those are technically now names instead of... Okay, so this is good. This is good. This is how we name rows. Uh, using row names. Let's continue. Data import, which that we've kind of already done. Hmm... So I'm happy with the way I've read my data. That that I'm good on. Um. Hey, where's the rest of the freaking tutorial? Um. Is that it? Oh crap. That was not what I was... That was okay. That was kind of okay, I guess. Not as exciting as I'd hoped. Not as informative as I'd hoped. Um, so now... Alright. Well, let's see what we can do on our own. Um, so this should actually be a comment. Okay, so this 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 works actually pretty good. So now I want to get a list of countries. You know what? I'm just going to call this equal because I'm getting kind of sick to death of having two different ways. Of, so we'll just say R minus save. Oh. R don't save. Crap. That's a little bit annoying, actually. I mean, in a way, it's cool, but it's also stupid. Can I say? What if I say no save? Does that also prevent it from... No. Well, that's kind of fucking cool. I'll leave it like that, but we obviously need to figure out a way to start a, a fresh R session that doesn't automatically load the previous workspace. And I think there's an option in R that does that. So what I want to do now is I want to uh, uniqueify and let's see if we can use our own little magic. This probably won't work. Um, that's interesting. Okay. Um, can I do help unique, or is that going to have to be a... <whistles> All right. All right, so let's do this, Mr. Smarty Pants. That was weird. Mm, it's not bad, actually. So there's 188 known countries. Some have stars by their name for some bizarre reason. But that's okay. Um... I think this is what I want to do. Oh, and I guess I should be doing source bc covid dot r. Although this is probably gonna yep. It's country, by the way. Um, this is gonna get weird if I if it does if it remembers everything. Okay, this isn't gonna help us any countries. Nice. Okay. So now we want to select out of our lovely table uh, only certain rows. Uh, um, I actually want to do a group by. Let's see if we can do what. Okay, get group, get gr grouping. Okay. Ah, so can, well, if I do help group, I get the feeling that's not going to work because it's not a function. Okay, but it did. That really is weird. 
Okay, that's not what I wanted at all. How grouping? Oh, maybe it's like uh, order of operations. Okay. Um. A permutation which rearranges its first argument. Oh, that just is like a sort, I think. Okay, that's not what we want. Um, I mean, the other way to do it would be select. I get the feeling this is definitely not going to work. Yeah. Yeah, I think you kind of have to get group members, set group generic, is group, get group. So I guess I want to help with set group, which didn't exist there, but ooh, I could. Um, set generic, except it constructs a group generic function. Um, that's not quite what I want to do. So I think maybe I'm thinking of groups differently than get group members. Formal method. Oh, this, okay. Normally not be called, okay, so that they don't want us to do that. All right, let's see if we can do select. This is kind of what I actually want. Um, select list seems to be the, hopefully when I do apropos with this, it'll just give me the All right. From a character a vector. That doesn't seem the same thing, but okay. Um, this seems very, very strange. Oh, this is select as in user interface select. Not what I really wanted. Can I just do help select? Okay, so we really do need to do apropos and then. Um, all right, Pomodoro time, back in two and two.
are almost back. And we're back. Okay, um, so I think maybe what I mean is filter. Okay, I probably should have said help filter. This is still not ideal, but... Linear filtering to a universe? That's not what I want. Okay, so select would be kind of the MySQL way of saying it. Um, subset? I guess it would be really subless, but hopefully apropos subset will do it. Well, those look pretty good. Let's start with this one. Returns, oh yeah, 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 that's exactly what I need. Um... Okay. Okay, that is that is exactly what I need. So let's go ahead and try to get the um because I think I'm still disliking Sweden a little, a little bit. Uh let's see if we can get the Swedish deaths from um from deaths. So what we want is subset deaths. Now how do we say how do we give it a sort of a generic function here? Um, let's see. Um, um, so this is, a, and you can even choose which uh, which um, columns you want, which is fantastic. Now, maybe they have recommendations for using other methods if this is too... Oh! Okay, well, fuck you for doing that. So it looks like it's a beautiful function, and then they tell us not to use it. Sons of bitches. Okay. Funny. All right, what does this function do here? Oh. Oh, shiny. So it's going to be deaths. Okay, so this is apparently the selection function instead of the. Um, I guess it could be used to just get one element. Um. Elements to extract or replace. Um, let's see, it can be a logical string, name, uh, value, wow. So basically, this is hideous. Um, get element x name. Okay. So they tell us not to use subset, and they tell us to use this, which has 330 lines of documentation that is not useful. I like that. Okay, so if we said deaths 5, we would just get... Yeah, keep forgetting it's a column-based vector. Um, okay, so now can we actually assign... No, we can't assign the countries to the row names because... Uh, we don't know which, uh, which, um, we have multiple rows for a given country. Uh, in fact, we should have the same number of rows for every country. Okay, not cool. So, I'm unhappy now because this looks like it's going to be the correct way to do things.
this should, in and of itself, give everything, but we should be able to... to um, that did not do that. Is it equal equal? Did I just actually set every country to Sweden? Hey, there we go. And now, if I wanted to, instead of selecting everything, I could just select deaths. But now we're being told not to use this. Ta-da! And I really only want the second column of that. Oh, ouch. No, no, no. But I get the feeling, yeah, that it's actually there's only one column. The, the first column is just a, an index row. Okay, cool. So now... So now I could set... Um, not deaths, because we already have that, but... Uh, let's see. I probably cannot do this. This is probably not going to work. Because... That's kind of weird. Oh, wow. So I can do that. Can I plot that? Um, list plot? I really shouldn't. Okay. Plot list? I should stop guessing, really, and because plotting is going to be a little bit different. Okay, so apparently I can do... Um, I can assign uh, country names. So now what I need to do is do a for loop through all the countries. Um, this still seems very, very ugly. It, it still seems like you could do um, some form of grouping by equivalence. Um, let's, let's actually briefly look at that, see if we have it. Um, our group list by same elements. Um, ooh. This is what we need. Apparently we might need some libraries for this, but I'm going to pretend we don't right now. Um, okay. Uh, the expression okay, 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 this actually might be doing what we want. Um, yeah. Okay, much better. Uh, list group deaths by country. Um... Because we now need to start doing our magic um, package loading, um, which is... I don't even know if we need both of these, but, you know, that's how I roll. Source, there we go. Okay, not great. There is no package called our list. And that is something we will probably have to solve in another window. Um, this is going to be very ugly because I'm pretty sure it's going to give me everything that begins with our. Um, yeah. Well, it's at least it's capital R, but. Um, how do I get our libs? Oh! Minimal, okay, core, core, inline, Java. Fuck. Alright, let me actually just put in this error message, which I'm sure is, um, I could do a better job and just be more specific. Could not find function list group. I'm gonna be lazy. Okay. C ran. Okay. 
So there's apparently a whole way, like, see pan for pearl. Uh, okay, on this. So I probably don't care what it is. Jesus. Oh, because my... The right side is off the edge. Um... Okay. But now... It's a PDF, which we don't want. Um... I should probably find out what CRAN is and um, and 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 bookmark it, and maybe even write down the URL. That should be fine. We'll go ahead and write this down. This is important. Okay. Um. Okay, how do I get this crap? Okay, so CRAN actually might be its own little program here. Uh, so let's go ahead and do this. That is not what I want, but maybe it's this. No! Okay. Um... Um. Oh, okay. Well, I don't care about that. I, I've already got R going. Um. What are R and Cran? Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Um, okay, that's not going to help me though. Okay, very shiny. How do I download our packages using CRAN? Um, Let's see what this does. Oh, I guess this must be one of the like little special things, um, special commands R has. Um, um, God damn it. Let me take a quick look and see if package description um, works, even if the package isn't loaded. Which, I mean, it shouldn't, but I mean, it might. No package on this was set. Okay, that's fine. Um, of the package. Okay. Um, yeah, but I still think it's looking only at my installed packages, if you know what I mean. Um, let's see. Okay, here we go. Install. Yeah, that's not going to be what I want. I think there might even be like a, um... Let's pretend that didn't happen. Um, now the question is... Um, I'll just do this one-off. Um, but I prob we probably need to automate this, so if anyone's using it, they can, um, they can get what they need. Install.packages... Okay, that's actually a good point. Because I am not root. Uh, 
Yeah, let's go ahead and use a personal library. Um, yep. Oh, motherfucker. We're gonna use one far away just to annoy you. The interesting thing is this means it's gonna be available on my main machine because uh, the home user is mounted. It's also going to be a little bit slower because um, we are we are compiling Jesus fucking Christ um, on a um, on a mounted drive. Yeah, not 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 really what I wanted, but um, apparently this is how you do it. Let me make sure I have the uh, instructions down. This is going to take a while. Yeah, this is not... I was hoping it would be very quick and easy. But apparently, it sucks. This is hideous. It has to recompile stuff. I mean, Perl does that too, so I guess I can't say it's too hideous. But it's still really, really bad. I mean, I, you would think that most of the packages could be written in R itself. So you wouldn't need to GCC shit. I'm hoping these are dependencies. And that when I do the next one, it's not going to take... So let's get this in here. And I guess I'm going to have to install the Piper one, whatever the hell that is. That's not even capitalized properly, but I'm sure there's a reason for that. Oh, is it Pipe R? Oh, it is. Pipe and then the letter R. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to... Okay, that one didn't take as long. Okay. So now, I should be able to do this sucker. Oh, right, because I still need to load them. Okay, did I mess that up somehow? I might have actually had some... Let's see, did countries get defined? Pomodoro time, back in two and two. Okay, we are almost back, and we are back. Okay, I think we're going to have to do a little bit better about not loading in the existing workspace. Um, let's see. So really, I kind of want to stop it here. Is there an exit in R? So I think one of the options for R is do not load workspace. Okay. No site file. No restore data is what we want. So it's kind of pointless to um, to save it. Let me go ahead and BC get this since we have gotten some good stuff going in here. shiny. I actually have um, created by mistake, hopefully not nothing dangerous, but in this directory um, a bunch of crap. Which I assume is the R data. And also R history, which I assume is just the history. Which is how it gets its uh, 
Okay. And I guess if we're going to do that... Oh, the only reason I wanted to do that is so I could just do a sort with source a little bit easier. Okay, that still works. Source, there we go. Object country not found. Um... Okay. All right, but let's see if death itself got loaded. Yep. Is there a column called country? You betcha. Um, I could do that, but now let's see if I can do list group deaths. And I might, might, might have to use a, uh, a quotation marks here. Hopefully that this function now exists. Object country not found. Okay, let's... Hit me, Tito. Okay. A list or a vector. Um. Okay. Okay, so this group, deaths. Country. I mean, there is a, there is definitely a country. Uh, oh, you know what? It, this might be wrong. Yeah. This we do need quotes here. I think. I, I, unfortunately, I get the feeling this isn't the problem. But let's see what happens. Okay. That was cool. Um. Let's do this, and then, I mean, that didn't really look that great, but, I mean, it probably was much better than, um, yeah, I don't want to put the whole thing. Is there a keys function? No. Um, oh, can I do this? Oh, yeah, or I can just do this. Um, I, I would be surprised if this works, yeah. Oh. Kind of don't think that did what I wanted. Um, unless this works, no. Yeah. <sighs> Back to my drawing board. Okay, so what does list group do? into exclusive groups, okay? A list or a vector, one or more expressions in the scope of each element to evaluate as keys. Oh, I think I know what's wrong. Um, see, that should work. We're looking at the weird thing is that oh no this is this is what I'm doing here um yeah no I think this showed up when I said yeah list group list ungroup is group um. The only thing I can think of is this is a matrix, and maybe no, that can't that can't be true either, though. Um, so it should this should be grouping by the country field? I mean, it it did something. One oh god damn it! To put everything into one freaking freak freak. Is it type? It's not type. It is, um, I don't remember what it was. Um, we could probably check, though. Um, all right, let's see if we can have someone use list group. 
and we'll do it in a new tab just because I like creating new tabs. Uh, list group. Let me do. I might be able to do it without. Without even putting in R, but I guess I have to put in R. Okay. Hopefully this is a little bit better than. Nope. Well, let's look at their example. Might be might be instructive. Oh. That that's hideous. Um all right, let's see if we can do a little bit better than that. Once again I failed to open my uh my new pages in a different Okay. Maybe we'll have better examples here. Usage. Um Really? Literally, that's the only one. That's the only time anyone has ever fucking used list group. Um, not that I'm annoyed. Okay, so this might be helpful. Okay. Um. That one's too complicated now. Um, oh, Icky Microsoft. Um, oh, maybe there's some fucking documentation on this piece of shit. Oh, apparently I downloaded the documentation on this piece of shit. Okay. I'm blind, so we'll do this. Okay, blah 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 blah. I kind of get the feel. Oh, list filter? No, list list groups. What we want? Um. Okay, flatten this. This is good. This is good stuff here. Um. Please, please don't have the same example here. Wow. No one has ever used this group in any other way. Right. I guess we'll put in the word examples, but I mean, there's just the one. The only one example anyone ever has. Um... Yeah, and Google does not like list.group. It, it thinks I mean other stuff as well. Um, all right, all right, all right. How about our list examples? I'm assuming our list only exists in R. Um, and I maybe need to put our list in quotations. Um, okay, this may be, I'm already skeptical, list dot new, okay, grouping, here we go, okay, 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 good, let's go, make smaller, go bye-bye. God damn it. Um, okay, so I think maybe the key here is this little dot thing. Um, okay. Now, why do we need stir? Maybe that's... Um, that should just be for printing, right? I mean... Oh, wait a minute, wait, I don't know, hang on. Okay, still using a little bit of fancy footwork here, so... Alright, so we'll start with this example, which is very, very basic. 
Okay. Um, now, what if I didn't give a condition? Yeah. Okay, so it should be able to divine its own condition. Um, okay. So now death, and maybe the thing I'm missing here is uh, for each element of death, there is a country column. Whoa, that's fun. Um, let's do this. Okay. And then, that could be useful. Because apparently dot means the thing. Okay, so T2053. So this is why they need stir, because it, it just prints as very brief. Fucking hell. Uh-huh. Right, let's try that again. Do I mean this? I'm almost sure I do not mean this. Okay, okay, so yeah. Um, can they just do this? This shouldn't work. Yeah. Um, now, if this doesn't work, I've got one other hope here. So clearly whatever the hell I'm doing here is not working. Um, now in theory this should be the same as this. Is invalid for atomic vectors? Of course it is. It's silly of me to think otherwise. Alright, so let me just see if in deaths four... For, oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Because the problem here is deaths... I, I need to transpose deaths. Can I do that? Well, that, that, that would be a problem. God damn it. Um... Okay, so the problem here is that I'm going through each element of death, but each element's a column when I really want each element to be a row. So can I do this? Apparently yes. Um, so that would be a grouping in the other direction. Um, Yeah, I almost definitely need to do a transposition here. Um, yeah, because right now each row is a, is a column, which is exactly the opposite of what I want. So I really want this to refer to... Um, I want this to be one comma. Um, okay, so let's look at... That should be not... That should be doable. Might require another, um, um, T? Really? Because, because no one ever uses T for anything else. That's what I'm really looking for. Um, so we'll just call this deaths 2 equals transpose deaths. Sorry, T. It's apparently transpose is way too long to spell out. Alright, so deaths 2 looks like this, which is good. So deaths 2, like 4, would be... Seventeen would be... Okay, that is not what I wanted. So what the fuck have I done now? 
Okay, that seems like we now have one row for, um... Uh, actually, how long was this one? That's five, because, um... But let's see how long the fourth column was. Really? Because that looks like a list to me. You're telling me that is one character. Oh, no, not C. Let's just see. Okay. Really? Really, really, really? I mean, you literally tell me that it's 24,064. Um, okay. So maybe transpose isn't the way to go. But it should be. Because deaths, 417, that's what I wanted. Oh, right, right, because it's column 4, wait, that should work. Because deaths 4 is this, okay. I am beginning to have some worries here. Deaths 4 may not actually be an array. I'm getting more and more concerned. Nope, it is not. Um, what is? How do you get a, the type of something? Um, get prototype type type of. Uh, I guess that we, that's just what it does. Okay, I'm not very happy now. Type of deaths is list. Type of deaths four is list. Yeah, that, that, this is, this is what should be happening. Um, but there's way more than, okay. Okay, so death four is this. Okay, Pomodoro time, back in two and two. And we are almost back. And we are back. Okay. So something funky is going on here. Whoa. Hang on. So where the hell does this stop and why? You know, maybe my CSV import is not doing the right thing. So now we get to do this. 
So we're really supposed to be getting multiple recruits. Okay. File header equals true, separator equals comma, quote equals this. Aha, CSV2 might be the magic here. Um, um, okay, so what's weird here is, I mean, it looks like separator equals comma is the default, um, which, which is, which is good, because that's what we mean by CSV file. However, let's go ahead and do this. Also, there's kind of a weirdness here that it's, um, each row should be, what the hell, what happens if we do this? Oh, that doesn't help at all. Um, With cases corresponding to lines and variable fields in the file. Um, ooh. Okay. This might be nice. Um, row names equals country. Oh, I can't do that though because, um, because country will repeat itself. So let me see. Um, can I use multiple though? Um, I cannot apparently give, um, yeah, so that doesn't quite work because we're not quite ready for that. Column names, which are already given as is. Mm. So one weird thing is that it says deaths is a list where it really should be like a data frame or a matrix. Um, so I'm kind of... All right. So let me see if... I mean, it can be, something can be more than one thing, and that, if that makes sense. Um, Okay, that's definitely wrong. Um, okay, now we're just being funny. It might be because I tried to reset. There we go. Um... Okay, so what is death five? Oh, right, because these are columns. What is this? Mm, no, that's not what that should be. Get that, what the fuck? Actually, let me get one where it's the country. What? Levels. Okay, so something is still kind of wrong here. Um, so if I say deaths date, no, we need a um, comma Five, I would expect to see Andorra, but I don't. Oh, 
shit. So somehow, bad things have happened here. Um... I have no idea what the fuck this means. I expected every row to be treated as a separate entry. I did not expect... Ah, oh, man. And this somehow just makes it worse. I mean, that looks like every row should be now a uh, beautiful... Nope. Not at all. So two is a country. Is six also a country? Seven. Okay, so every fifth one is going to be a country here because um, apparently it sucked them in all as being separate... separate elements. So this is going to have a length that is, I think we already measured it, 200,000 something. Yep, 120,000 something. Okay, that's not the transpose of that matrix. Oh, although I guess it wasn't a matrix to begin with, so that's probably why we're having issues with it. Alright, what does matrix do? Does it turn this into a matrix? That'd be a good thing to figure out what the hell matrix does. Well, that, that looked really helpful there. Um, okay. Is this a matrix? Well, fuck you. Is this a data frame? Oh. Is data frame. Okay, it is a data frame. Uh, what the hell can I do with data frames? Nothing. I thought data frames were matrices, kind of. Okay. Um. Um. So I should be able to do like row. No, is is it row names deaths? Which I shouldn't have. Yeah, they're just going to be these. Call names death, which we do definitely have one of. Call um names. Okay, hang on. Um. This might be what's causing the issue. Um, okay, so let's look at deaths four. Is do I get the feeling there's something just inherently wrong with the fact that we're getting that data vector? So data frames, apparently, the fact that their, like, row number or their name comes along for the ride means they are not vectors. Uh, what exactly they are, according to this, uh, is a list. Okay. Well, I have now been going for two and a half hours. I rock. Um, and I think I am done with this for now. Anybody in the chat has anything to say? Apparently, Benny either came back quietly or never came back. Whatever. Anyone has anything to say? Please say so in the next few seconds because uh, I am going to uh, stop for now. 
Thank you for watching the stream, and I may or may not be back later today. I kind of want to be back, but at the same time, two and a half hours is quite a long time. Thank you for watching.